Hey guys and girls. Um, I went uh, and watched a video a while ago of the Rick Fix, and uh, he's up in Canada, I think Nova Scotia actually. Um, and he had some spray that they, they put on their cars for winter time to help them. Uh, kind of like an undercoating, but it's an undercoating and it doesn't dry. And he had mailed me the name of the information of, of what it was. And I just wasn't able to get it here in the States. Um, so I went to my local real auto parts store and I, I kind of asked him about the stuff. Did you know anything about it? Like a waxy film and uh, it smells like peppermint after you put it on. And uh, they weren't quite sure, but he gave me a little sample can. He goes, try this stuff. This might be what you're talking about. And this is what he gave me. A little uh, fluid film. Rust and corrosion protect, uh, protectant. And uh, I sprayed that on in the wheel well of the wife's car that I was working on. And uh, it had that smell and it had that look. And I do believe that's what he was talking about. Probably just a different name. So, of course, they gave me the little can. And I went back and bought two gallons of it. <laughs> Uh, it looks like this. It's kind of like a looks like butterscotch pudding, kind of. And it goes on clear, and then after time, I, I believe it's supposed to uh, turn into like a waxy film. So we went and uh, took one of the uh, old paint guns that I'll never use for anything else, and we just turned that into a um, applicator for this. So I went around, and uh, let me just grab my flashlight. There we go. And... Uh, Spray down the wife's car with it. Again, in New England, uh, we get not quite as bad as what Canada gets, but we still get it pretty bad. And it, when I was doing some front end work on it, I noticed it was getting like really scaly rust on it. And you kind of see. So we went and we just kind of sprayed the whole thing down. And what I like about it is you can actually, like, if you get that scaly porousy rust, it just encapsulates that whole thing. So I went around and done the whole thing, the frame all the way around, all, anything and everything and kind of get my myself on. I tried to stay away from the rubber components, although they said it was okay for rubber um, and definitely, you know, stayed away from the, the new brakes I just put on yesterday and then uh, kind of went and shot it in all the holes. I know uh, he had an applicator that had a hose on it, like a nozzle and uh, you're able to get up and down the frame rails. I may try to fabricate myself myself something like that too. But it looks pretty good. It's uh, um, it's not hazardous material. It doesn't, uh, no, no issues as far as dripping stuff on the ground and someone flipping out. I kinda like it. I even did the spare tire. Even the spare tire was uh, getting rusty. There's an area I missed right there. So, it's good for now. What I'm gonna do is I'll bring it back in probably in the fall. It's springtime right now. And uh, maybe give it another shot. Just give it, give it a, a once over to see what it looks like. I tried to stay away from the exhaust, but there is still some on the exhaust. So. I don't know, I like it. It's easy to put on. And it's not like undercoating where over time the undercoating lifts away from whatever it's sprayed on and actually ends up holding water. This stuff, you know, you basically you, you want to make a moisture barrier between the uh, metal and the outside. And uh, I think this pretty much will do the job fairly well. So again, here's the stuff. Eco-friendly, easy to apply. You can do it with a brush, a roller, spray it. And, uh, and it also comes in spray bombs, which I did grab one of those too. And uh, this is good for like, uh, if you work on something small and you just want to give it a little quick touch up. This is good for like a lube too, just kind of using it for uh, you know, like shift cables and that kind of thing. So I'll try it in that aspect too. But uh, we'll see how it holds up and uh, I'll do a, re a review probably at that later date. And uh, take the camera back underneath and, and see how well this stuff holds up. But um, something's got to work better than nothing, right? Uh, it wasn't terribly expensive neither. It was, my cost was 21 and change for a gallon, and I think the cans were like eight or nine bucks a piece for the cans. And it seems like it goes pretty far. I did the whole car with basically what you see missing there. One, one fill of the gun. And uh, I didn't need to dilute it, it seemed like it sprayed fine. So, all right guys, thanks for watching, and uh, take care.